welcome biscuitiers to a brand new video I know I've been gone I haven't been doing any videos and I haven't been streaming as late as much but there's a story for that well not a story but there's reasons for that the first reason I got a job don't want to say where I'm working now second reason school started back up again so I'm in my second semester of school as a college freshman and that's going old so well but other than that let's just continue on today we're going to be playing the cold case of Noella T. Bejero Bejero I th I'm just going to go with Bejero uh, I think I'm just going to call her Beji yeah we're going to call her Beji um so how I came across this game actually because it was due to the Phoenix Wright streams. I, I don't remember which stream it was. But normally I had it set to whenever the stream upload it would automatically notify all my followers. Right? But I don't think that the developer was following me. I think what happened was I don't know, this is speculation. Uh, she just clicked on hashtag Phoenix Wright. <laughs> My dog just opened the door. Uh, other than that, they liked, uh, they, they liked the tweet. And it kind of got me interested. So I, cli I, I clicked on the profile. And this popped up, and I just read the, the, the first line of the description. It says, A detective afraid of blood. I'm in. Alright, so, uh, other than that, this looks pretty, pretty smooth already. This is a demo, uh, they had a Kickstarter, and I think, I, I, I started following them to see the updates, and they've, it was fully funded, and now they're just working on to complete the game. Let me go quit the game, alright, we're gonna uh, start, I start it, and I'm actually kinda curious what this game is about, uh, I just seen screenshots of it, but I haven't seen any gameplay. So we're just gonna do this, and hopefully for the best, we know what we're doing. A gorgeous young lady stood on the steps of a once loving home. Her beautiful heart beat in the protest of how her father had just thrown her out into a cruel, unforgiving world. Normally, any other young lady would totally freak, but not this angelic creature. No, she looked out to the world, ready to defy all odds and become independent at the tender young age. 20 summers. Oh, who am I kidding? I dropped out of high school and now my dad's kicking me out of the house. And to be honest, I'm probably one of like 9 out of 10. <laughs> okay, okay, 7 out of 10. But at least my life will get way better after this. I hope. Alright. Ooh. Dad! Please let me back in. I'll get a job and pay for rent. Dot, dot, dot. I'll cook and clean and do all the chores too from now on. Dot dot dot. He's really serious about kicking me out, isn't he? Uh, the sun's going down. Well, maybe if I find a place to stay for the night, Dad will change his mind in the morning. Oh! Oh, what? Um. Do this. Hold on, let, let, let's just. This music is soothing. Alright. I don't know if you can hear it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, yeah, you can hear it. Let me just, uh... There you go. I think you can hear me now with that. If not, I'm just gonna do, like, this. And hopefully you guys can hear it. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up. <laughs> this is the way to school. I'm trying to not go down this road. Come on, man. You can't be doing this to me. Oh, the neighborhood playground. Being here always makes me feel at peace. I still remember when I slid down that slide and landed head first into a pile of dirt like it was yesterday. Probably because it was yesterday. Anyway, I better get back to finding a place to stay. Alright, we can't head down because if we head down... Wait, did we already head left? No, we didn't. Uh, this is my neighbor's house. They have a 12 year old kid and twin babies. I'm sure they have their hands full. Maybe there's somewhere else I can spend the night. Uh, okay, let's just head down then. This is 
is the way to the bus station. A long drive always makes me feel better when I'm having a bad day. That is pretty cool. Hello. Uh, we're gonna keep looking around. Ah. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was letting me examine. Oh, hello. We could save? Sweet. I accidentally pressed the right. <laughs> I accidentally right clicked it. This is the way to the bus station. Alright. Alright, we're just gonna get on the bus. I thought we could examine. No fair, no share. Share? What do you think of a What do you think of a better rhyme? Uh, I'm sorry. Looks like I'll have to find some money if I want to ride. Throughout the game, Grace will need to find objects in order to progress through the story. Items Grace thinks are important will light up when you hover over them with your mouse. Like that? Ooh, my favorite gummy bears. Ah, uh, it's empty. Wait, wasn't I supposed to be looking? No, I keep right clicking. Jesus Christ. Alright. Ooh, I found money. Mmm, yummy snacks. Oh, there's coin there's some coins under there. <laughs> Fifty two cents? I have no money. Maybe now I can ride the bus. Uh ah, coffee. It's empty though. I guess whoever drank it was in such a rush they couldn't walk two steps to the trash can. Uh, I don't think that's two steps though. Alright. I've got the share. What? The money. I've got the money. Fifty-two cents. Bus ride is a dollar fifty, lady. Uh, twenty-five cents cheaper. Jesus! I keep right-clicking. Oh, dude, this is gonna be a real <laughs> problem. <laughs> but. Oh, jeez, ladies, if you're gonna cry about it, just get on. Really? Come on. Before I change my mind. Thank you, sir. Damn. <coughs> no. Snack that the owners sell to afford their houses, clothes, and food. Just gonna take and get one snack, okay? Uh, uh, walk by the snack aisle. No way. Is that a bag of super amazing jumbo sweet tooth gummy bears? Those are my favorite. Uh, we're gonna save. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't take it. What if the owners of this place can't afford their self service if I take the snack? Oh, where's their internet provider? I need to find a way to ease my conscience before I can appease my mouth my stomach. Uh, to walk by the cash register? <laughs> she taking a selfie? Hello. Hi, how's it going? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Oh wait, no, that's racist. Hold up. Um, okay. Oh, good. Look at my super expensive ring my boyfriend bought me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's shiny, all right. I know, right? So you wouldn't happen to know if, say, a bag of chips went missing. The store wouldn't, like, completely close down or anything, right? Beats me. Ooh, text message from Josh. Oh, he wants to see me, but, like, I have to work. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, he wants to see me, but, like, I have to work. Sorry, babe, I'm working today, and I'm the only one here. It sucks. Girl goes back to start. Well, she's not very helpful. If only I could know for sure that business was going well for them. Uh, check the register. 15, 20, 40, 60, 80. That's a lot of $20 bills. Okay, if I take one snack, it shouldn't hurt them too bad. Hey, I know you wanted to get a closer look at my ring, but you can't be back here. Oh, sorry. All right, let's just walk by the snack aisle. No way. <laughs> That's where I can see it. I didn't do it. Put the money in the bag. Better not call the cops or I'll come back and kill you, you here. 
everyone on the floor with your hands behind your back. Oh crap, looks like we missed him. Who should we bring in for questioning, man? We'll need to bring in everyone for their witness accounts. I apologize for the inconvenience. I suppose you all came here for inconvenience because this is a convenience store. But having to get a question is inconvenient, right? Isn't that funny? The customers all join together in one collective groan. Ah. I thought it was funny. The police escort the uh, customers out of the store. They did it! Still a super amazing jumbo sweet tooth gummy bear pack. Please don't lock me up forever. Oh, these are good. What's your name, dear? Grace Sinclair, ma'am. I'm Detective Araceli. But call me Delilah, seeing as how close in age we look. And... Sure thing, Delilah. Alright, I like this girl. Hey, since I like you so much, I'll even pay for your gummy bears. That you're eating? But, but, you have to tell me what you saw. How's that, huh? They won't go to jail? Not if you cooperate. I'll tell you everything. Great. Now, what do you remember from the robbery? Well, I got off the bus and went into the convenience store. I asked the cashier how everything was going, but she wouldn't shut up about her boyfriend and some fancy pants ring he got her. Right, and then? I went behind the counter to look at the cash register and make sure the business was going well. Because if the business was doing well, they wouldn't miss one little bag of gummy bears, right? Yes, dear, this is great and all, but could you skip to the robbery part? Oh, well, I went to the aisle with the gummy bears and snuck them under my hoodie. That's when I caught, I got right and the robber. Do you remember anything about the robber? Um, not the robber? <sighs> Looks like we're no closer to finding the culprit. Wait! Yes, did you remember anything? No, but there's always a solution. Well, thanks for your positive attitude and cooperation. I'll make sure you won't receive any punishment for the gummy bears. It makes me feel worse that I don't know how to help you though. though. It's alright, the cashier probably saw more of the robber anyway. Except she's refusing to talk for some reason. Huh, that's odd. Yeah, she's probably just scared of something. She was the only one behind the counter. That's gotta be scary being all alone like that. That's right, she was the only one who was working tonight. Is that important? It could be. If Robert had known she was the only one working, it would be a good time to rob the place. Easier to keep an eye on one person and make sure they don't press the panic button. Yeah, but only a few people would know she was the only one working that day. But that helps us narrow down our suspects. The only ones who would know that she was working alone tonight would be her boss or other employees and her boyfriend. There must have been- God damn it! <laughs> Objection! There must have been s there must have been someone working on the inside on the inside the store that let what? There must have been someone working on the inside the store that uh, let let the robber know when to come in. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Call the cashier. Swear to God, those. We gotta think our gotta think outside the box here. Uh, we're gonna send text with schedule. Sent that text with your schedule. That text had to let have let the robber know he could come into the store with no one else around to stop him. But what is the robber's motive? <gasps> of course, the robber could use the money to buy expensive jewelry. That means the robber is. Of course, it was the boyfriend! Um, oh, that makes sense, then the boyfriend could continue to buy her expensive jewelry. Wow, would you really piece that together? There's always a solution. But seriously, that was incredible. To think, you didn't even see the crime, you just solved this case by putting a few clues together. 
Well, I think you did most of the solving, to be honest. Maybe you're right, but bouncing, but bouncing ideas off of each other lead us to the solution. I could really use a partner like you. How would you like a job here? Eh? Nanny? You are over the age of 18, correct? Yes, ma'am, but this is really sudden. Oh, I'm sorry. People always tell me I'm a little intense. This is way out of the blue, but I really could use a job. No will probably change his mind about kicking me out tomorrow, but that doesn't mean my high school will take me back. Ah! No! Ah! Is everything alright? Do you look upset. Oh, no, I was just thinking. I want the job. Really? That's great. I'll just run it by my boss to see if we can get you an interview. How early can you be here tomorrow? Um, let's see, is there a problem? Well, it's just... Just moved into town. I'm not sure where the cheaper hotels are. Yeah, that's it. Oh, is that all? Then just stay in my place. Really? Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Oh, this was very convenient. Grace and Delilah enter a small, cozy apartment. I hope you don't mind sleeping on the couch. I can't fall asleep very well if I'm not in my own bed. Not really sure why that is. Ah, oh, keep right clicking. I, I really can. Can I change the options? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I can't. I can't. No. Oh wait. Oh hey. All right. All right. All right. This is return. Wait, oh, right, let me just save it real quick. Okay, there it is. Oh no, I don't mind at all. As long as I read something, I can fall asleep in a heartbeat. That's probably why I kept failing all those tests in school. Feel free to read any of my books on the bookshelf over there then. I'll wake you at 5. 5 a.m.? Better go to sleep early. <laughs> this is so exciting. We'll be like two young hip girls taking down delinquents all over town, home fry. Yep, that'll be us. That'll be us, home fry. Good night. Now, home frizzle. <laughs> She's kind. I could try to call dad now or just go to bed. Let's call dad. Let's read a book. What the kids? <laughs> this looks interesting. I think I'm ready to hit. Let's call Dad. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging system. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Dad, it's me. I uh, just wanted to call to let you know I'm doing fine. I know you probably had a stressful day at work, and the news of me flunking out of school probably didn't help. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world. I actually got a job interview to go tomorrow. See, things are just going fine. Oh, and I'm calling you from Delilah Araceli's house. She's the lady who offered me the job, and she's letting me crash at her place tonight. Isn't that great? I know it's hard to say optimistic, but I know you can do it. I believe in you, I love you, and... Your message has exceeded the time limit. If you would like to continue your message, please dial 1. If you would like to record your message... Let's go to sleep. It's kind of sad. Delala walks into the police station with Grace falling a considerable distance after. Ah, so, ah, so great to be awake in the fresh morning air. Don't you think so too, Grace? Uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, wait right there, and I'll go get our head detective. Ugh. Let me just sit down real quick. I'll just rest my... Look, Delilah, you know I'm always glad how enthusiastic you are about your new position as detective. This is your third prodigy child this month. She's different. You saw my case without even questioning a witness. She was at the crime scene. How do you know she wasn't just writing out her accomplice? She wasn't just writing out an accomplice? Let's see your eldest for once! Not that I'm much older than you. Okay, okay. 
But if she ends up being another girl who guessed how many candies there were in a jar, someone who just happened to be really great at crossword puzzles, won't interview your prodigy kids anymore. Yes, I promise you won't be disappointed. Also, anyone who guessed 268 candies when there were 300, when there were 300, is an extremely talented person. I'm sure. Hey, Grace. Uh, uh, I did it. Did she fall asleep? Did she fall asleep while standing? Uh, hi, Delilah. No. <laughs> no. Wait! You promised! I'm sorry, Delilah, but how can you expect me to interview Rainbow Head over there when she hasn't even had nap time? Are you sure she was over 18 this time? Delilah, I really do believe in her. Alright, but I've got an important case for you. We're going to skip the interview and go straight to testing your skills. But I can ask you to wait till tomorrow. You seem so enthusiastic. Why are you backing out now? When I first got my detective job, I was assisted by my superior and learned the ropes. I was I was just thrown in first thing. Plus, the department usually gives you the hardest cases to crack. Exactly. It'll be the perfect test. You just enjoy watching people suffer, don't you? Nothing wrong with a little teasing. I thought you'd be happy. I'm not so sure about this now. Let's go get your girl. Alright. Damn it. More dialogue. It's okay. It's all good. It actually helps me read a little bit better, so. Lem and Delilah walk back over to Grace. I'm sorry about that, darling. I'm Lem, yes we. Yes we? You see? Please! Tell me! <laughs> at a Burns Detective Agency, how would you like to assist me at today's crime scene? You mean I got the job? No, not yet. But. If you help me solve today's little mystery, I'll hire you right away. How's that sound? Oh, like an evaluation? Exactly. I'm so in. It's just a civil case, right? Of course. Perfect, I'll have a job in no time and then Dad will let me move back in. Probably. Grace, Delilah, and Lem enter the crime scene. Yo, I'm just noticing the... This is your classic homicide case. The casino security guard Sanjay Green called in at 2045 to report the murder. The one who was killed was the owner of the casino, Joe Nemort. Of course, the killer deleted the video footage of anyone coming and going from the surveillance room at the time of murder. You can ask Delilah for more specifics on the suspect's testimonies. Feel free to investigate the crime scene, and when you feel ready to solve the case, come talk to me. You can find evidence by moving your mouse around the crime scene. Okay. Items Grace things are important will light will light up. Okay, click on them to reveal clues. All the evidence you find will be kept in your case files in the top left corner on the screen. All right. <laughs> She's weak. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. Would you like to review the suspect statements? Yes, I do. All right, let's go. All right, we got four people. Sanjay, Sanjay Green, six, six foot five, 180 pounds, age 26, employed at the Maroon Rose Casino for three years as a personal guard. Yo, Woods, please describe what happened the night of the murder. I, I was in the surveillance room when Maxine needed help to bring in the Wednesday shrimp delivery. I, I, I asked Mr. Mort if it was all right to help her, and he said that it was fine. After I helped Maxine put the case of shrimp in the kitchen, I went back to my post. When I walked in the room, there was blood everywhere. Mr. Moore was lying face down on the floor. I realized he, he was hurt, so I called the cops immediately. The 911 operator told me how to check his vital signs. When I couldn't find any, I realized he was dead. And why didn't you report the dead? And why didn't you report the dead body to anyone else at the casino until the police arrived? Uh huh. Well, I just thought that if the information got out to the patrons, it might cause a panic. Thank you, that would be all. Okay. Okay. Thirty-seven employed at the Maroon Rose Casino for six years as a server. She kind of reminds me of Gwen from Total Drama Island. I don't know why. 
In your own words, please describe what happens. Well, it was Wednesday, and that's the day we get our regular shrimp delivery for the cocktails we serve. I'm not really strong enough to carry it by myself, so I naturally asked Sanjay. No, <coughs> I'm not really strong enough to carry it by myself, so I naturally asked Sanjay. He's so big and strong, you know? Uh, but anyway, I, I went to the surveillance room for to ask for his help. Sanjay is so respectful and conscientious of our boss's needs, so he asked for permission first before he helped me. Mr. Mort said it was fine. Okay, I'm just going to be doing something real quick here. Oh, shit. Can we get the ship to these hits? I wish me good luck and then went back to work. Was there anyone who might have held a grudge against your boss, Joe Noir? No one likes the buzz, but not enough to kill him. Hey, you're not thinking Sanjay did it, are you? He's big and strong, but he never hurt anyone. I'm sorry, we're not allowed to disclose that information. Thank you for your time, Miss Douglas. That's all the questions we have for you at this time. In your words, please describe what happened right now. I came, I came in like I always do on Wednesday nights to play them slots. I did happen to say it. <laughs> I did happen to say uh, I I did happen there to see a security guard in the shop gal go get that there regular shrimp delivery while I was playing my game. Around half an hour later, I ended up winning 600 bucks. Sure enough, then police showed up. You not sure why until that same security guard who was with that there waitress gal announced the murder to the patron. Oh lordy, I just about died with shock. Felt my heart stop for a sec. Do you know any of the employees at the Maroons Rose Casino? Might recall a few folk, but it ain't like we ain't kin. That's all the information we need for now. The police department will contact you again if you have any follow up questions. Do you have any further comments? Don't reckon I do. And we can't do Jonah because he's dead. So we have three. Wait, did he. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Let's go to history. Wait, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That doesn't make sense. Wait, 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 wait. Where do where did Sanjay? There's conflicting, there's, there's conflicting arguments, man. Oh, wait, uh, how do I get out? Oh, exit room. Oh, dude, what the fuzz? All right, uh, let's go over here. Jeez, this sure looks suspicious. Hello. Zero bank robber strikes again. Big money bucks bank spalt destroyed by drill. Papers from two nights ago. I wonder if this could be tied to the murder somehow. Uh, oh, this must be security footage room. It's called the CCTV room. Security footage. It's the security footage room. There's blood. Everything okay? Yep. Yeah. Everything's really, really awesome. Just, just a lot of blood. Is that a problem? Not at all. Yours is an individual with the so vagus. What? Uh, hold up. I got. I got. <laughs> I have to look this up. Vaso. What? I. I. I have to. Uh, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> Basil Vagel think. Syncope. Really? Vasovagal syncope. Vasovagal syncope. Okay, vasovagal syncope. <laughs> Grace is an individual. 
disgrace is an individual with basal vague basal vagal syncope syncope I think I think that's a basal vagal syncope is it with the J yeah no it's basal vagal syncope in other words she faints at the sight of blood the upper right hand corner is a meter that allows you to see how close Grace is passing now. If you let this meter fill up all the way, Grace will faint and lose her job. If a certain clue is covered in blood, Grace has the option to either look at it or not. Due to your condition, you'll have to decide which clues are worth looking at and which are not. Choose wisely. Ah! I like this. Oh, wait, wait, we have to look at this. This is a bloody item. Are you sure you want to look at it? Yes. What the dead body was. There's a pool of blood near the head. Is that the only injury? Uh. Oh, wait, hello. I see something. Covered in blood. Uh, uh. This is a murder weapon. It looks kind of old. And uh, we should be almost. Uh, let's. <laughs> okay. Yes. This the camera really didn't capture the murder. There's so much time left after the security guard left the room. I wonder why he didn't just completely erase himself from the footage. Oh man. Uh, that's all. That's is just as bad of. Oh man. Ah, I did save. Fuck. <laughs> All right, got it. Yes, let's go. So, what's your deduction? Uh. Are you trying to trick me? Huh. I was just having some fun, that's all. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. Ah, let's head back. Okay! What? Alright, Grace walks into the forensic lab. Oh, crashes her. Oh, not again! There's a kid in here. Are you right? Are you hurt? Delilah, there's a kid in here. No! I'm not. I'm pregnant. And he's pregnant. Wait. Eh? Oh no, what I meant to say was I'm not a kid. My wife is pregnant with our third child. Uh, I thought telling you that I had an adorable family would let you know that I was an adult. But things kinda came out wrong. But you look so young. I'm 36, older than Detective Yasi there. Yasi or whatever. Good to see you again, George. Delilah's older than me though. What was that? I mean, I'm even older than Delilah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sinclair here work on the case today. This girl? Did Delilah bring her in? Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Miss Sinclair, was it? Please call me Grace. Miss Grace, then. So, what brings you here? Oh, I brought some important evidence from case 18101. Um. One eight one zero one zero four two three zero. Right. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Uh, baton, baton. Your fingerprints of Mr. Sanjay Green, the security guard. Are on this I got it. Why well, they haven't upgraded to a newer model by now? Jesus Christ. Uh. Robert drills into vaults to rob local banks. This isn't his first hit. 
also found Mr. Jonah Morse the victim's fingerprints on it. He must have been reading about the story before the murder. Odd. There are also a lot of pen marks on this newspaper. Almost as if Mr. Mort was trying to figure out who the serial robber was. Uh, chair analysis. Why did you have me analyze this, Miss Grace? There's nothing about this chair that has to do with the case. Sorry. Uh. When I analyzed the body, I noticed that there were traces of soil beneath it. It's found that the biochemical oxygen demand levels in the soil are higher than usual. This is usually seen at construction sites due to drilling fluid. How odd. Not to gross you out or anything, Miss Grace, but there are remnants of skin on the desk. I believe the victim most likely hit his head here. I'm telling you, baton analysis! Yes! Wait, before I make it fun of myself, I'm calling it! Cause it was the side of the, it was the side. It was it was the side. The baton. If the security guard was a murderer, why did he leave the footage and come back to the room? What? The security guard was a murderer. Why did he leave the footage of him coming back to the room? Were they accomplices? Interesting deduction. Why do you think Herbert's son is a murderer? Mm, I'm not sure this is a pretty tough nut. Don't say that. I'm saying it. Miss Sinclair, why do you think Miss Herbert is the murderer? Because if I think about some of the clues I found. Drilling fluid commonly found at construction sites was found at the crime scene. There's a serial robber who drills into banks. Regular customer, gambling addict. Gambling. Are you sure that's your final answer? Don't, don't make me doubt myself. <laughs> no, alright. Mm. But <laughs> I'm 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 very confused. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Well then, was she correct? I can't believe it. Your reasoning's a little shaky. That's the same conclusion I got too. Evidence points to Herbert son being the famous serial robber. He's a very well known customer at the casino. When robbers cash in their stolen money under the guise of gambling winnings at a bank, they're able to keep their stolen money without raising government suspicion. This is also known as money laundering. My theory is that Joan and Moore figured this out and confronted Herbert son about this. Herbert son could have let Joan and Moore tell anyone about this, so he killed him. I'm really surprised you were able to figure out Herbert's son was all serial robber. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a very good talent of mine. You know, going back in time, loading up the safe states. 
It was very convenient with the safe seats, though. <laughs> I'm very surprised you were able to figure out Herbert's son was also the serial robber. I mean, I haven't technically solved the case, but neither have I. We still need to question the suspects to confirm her suspicions. However, I only wanted to test your deduction skills in your past. Your test is over. I'll take care of the case from here. Feel free to go home, and I'll be expecting you to be back at the station early tomorrow. Really? Thank you so much. Not so fast, then. Ugh. Yes. You have to say it. Fine. The lily pulls out a recording device. <laughs> Keep that on you? Come on. <sighs> You're right. Say my name, punk. <laughs> you, Delilah, and Articelli were right, and I, Lem Yasui, was wrong. That'll do. <sighs> Alright, well, I've got some witnesses to question, so I'll see you two tomorrow. I better go back on yesterday's falls, too. Nice job out there, girly. Thanks, Delilah. Wow, I can't believe it. Did I solve the case? Me neither. I've never done anything like that before. To be honest, when I was little, I just smashed puzzle pieces to force them together. I never thought. Oh no, I met my son's toes. Look how t look how tiny they are. How can they be so small? Oh, you're right. So cute. Hey, Gracie girl, can I talk to you and Pat for a sec? Sure thing. So good that you figured out the case. I'm really proud of you. Really, really proud. What's wrong? It's about the robber from yesterday. Yes. Turns out you didn't guess the culprit. It was just a random robber. I can't help but think that you only got this case solved out of pure luck. So sorry, hun. I don't think this is the job for you. You're probably right, but can I tell you something? Yeah, of course. I really, really need this job. See, I'm a high school dropout. My grades have never been good, and I've always struggled to find anything I'm really passionate about. Today, I actually might have contributed to society by finding a criminal. I finally have done something good in my life. Something I finally felt like I had control over. This may be my only chance of getting a good job. This may be my only chance of making a difference in the world. Say no more. I had no idea. Of course you can keep your job. But instead of a full-on detective, I'll see if you could be my assistant. I'll be more of your teacher than your partner. And who knows? With enough practice, you might actually be able to become a really great detective. That sounds perfect. I can't thank you enough. What's this? Looks like Delilah dropped the files from the convenience store robbery case. The culprit is on a C. Hello, ladies. How is our new employee doing? Grace and I decided that we like to work together. I could really use her help on my cases. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Delilah. I can't let you have Miss Sinclair as your partner. Why not? Because I just filled out her paperwork to be my partner. She really is a prodigy child. Oh, sh. I don't think I would have solved this case without her. By the way, you dropped this. He knows! Partner to the head detective. Partner to the head detective? See you at six. Hey! We are done! This game has been in development for two years and will finally be released on April 21st, 2018. If you'd like to support their final month of development, Kickstarter's right there, get some cool rewards, we'll be seeing you around, Detective. Follow our progress. Oh my god, dude. It made me think a lot. Oh. Well, th there you have it. That is the end of this demo. I really enjoyed it. I'm really digging it. Anyway, let me just. There it is. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, please give this a like. And if you're new here, and like what I do. to become a biscuit chick today guys please check out this game please give them support beyond imaginable belief so that when their full game starts I'll be ready and uh, Marty Duff is that, is that where Marty Duff I hope I hope I'm not saying calling on my ass but it says Marty Duff right here oh well, to the developers in question, I hope you guys succeed in, in your lifelong pursuits. 
and I hope that this game comes out and it will be a successful one. Other than that, this is Sir Biscuit signing off. See you in the next one.